y'all doing? The video gonna be about Aaron Carter. Drowned in his own tub. That's what they say. Do I believe it? Nope. Aaron Carter was a child uh, artist. His brother Nick's with the Backstreet Boys. And I was very familiar with that whole scene. With the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and Britney Spears and Christian Ag 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 Aguilera. <clears throat> the Mickey Mouse Club, all that. When they were all in the Lou Pearlman. You remember Lou Pearlman? The Emperor of uh, Pizarro. Lou Pearlman was the Jewish version of Suge Knight. You know how the Suge was with Death Row? That's how Lou Pearlman was with that boy band, that that teen creation of the late 90s. Now, I don't think Aaron was associated with that, but Aaron was all shoot of that. And I like Candy was a big hit. I wasn't super big on him, but I always kept up with him. I thought the kid was cool, uh, honest. Watched his interviews, watched him on Vlad, watched him talk. He went through some struggles. He, you know how it is in Hollywood. You know, when they get you to do things and you end up doing things and they play you like you cray cray and he had his money took and he had a lot of stuff going on. And I look at him and I say, hmm, he's the link between what ended up happening with Britney Spears and what Justin Bieber kind of went through. You know, when they say you're out of control, what that means is that they didn't turn you out. That's what that means. That means that they've been, you know, drugged you up, thugged you up. Got you like a zombie. Hollywood games are real. Rituals are real too. I mean, you just know that the nature of this. And he supposedly drowns in a pool, pull up uh, in a in a in a in a bathtub. I had a flashback to Whitney Houston. And then I thought about the last time someone just mysteriously died kind of young was Bob Saget. So I'm just thinking, hmm, I'm just looking at these things. You know, these these things that go on just don't quite add up. And he, I think he was coming out with a book. I'm not for sure. But, uh, you know, he, there's a lot going on to this. And you never know. See, the ones they think are crazy and they get turned or what have you. They're the ones who sit on a lot of stuff. But this is a tragic situation. The cat was only 34. And, um, you know, he once upon a time is quite happy, free-spirited. But you know how that industry is. And that's why you can't help but look at it very leery and suspect. So rest in peace and prayers and thoughts with his family and his friends and fans. Uh, there's a lot more going on to it because it definitely caught my attention. I thought, hmm. It sounded very suspect the way he just died. Please hit like, subscribe. Please share the video if you want to. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And you know how the industry is. That's all I'm going to say about it. But I did used to check out his interviews. You know, music was all okay. He had some interesting comments he said about Michael Jackson. They were cool. And he got, you know, I remember in times when he would talk, he was quite reflective on some things. So... It's just very suspect with the timing. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm out.